Turkey the Oh, this off. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. We are in the thick of spring cleaning. Shane, I can't do an intro with you sitting there. Into the thick of it. We're so sick of it. <laughs> we're, we're over spring cleaning and we just got one room done. I'm slamming into the living room today to get this sucker deep clean, spring clean, feeling the spring forward feelings. I want to get this house done. Honestly, I'll probably be spring cleaning in fall. It's easy to feel pressured to get everything done at once, but we are taking it one room at a time because A, we don't want to overwhelm ourselves because a mama and a wife or a woman in general overwhelmed is not, is not a good thing. It's a hurricane. <laughs> it's a hurricane. <laughs> and also an overwhelmed marina will not clean. Like if I push myself and overexert, is that the right word? Overexert myself to clean, I'm going to be done with cleaning and then my house is just going to look atrocious in a week or two. So we're doing it slow and steady. I know some people can get it all done in one day. I know people who could spring clean their entire McMansions in one day, but I am just not the girl. <laughs> I cannot. So we're taking it slow. We're going to tackle the living room and the hallway today. We're going to go from the ceiling to the floor. Actually not because I have like this orbiting thing where I have ADHD. I just kind of orbit around the room and do it that way i am going to get it cleaned up in here because it's not cleaned up at all i'm going to get it tidied up and then we're going to dive deep into the deep cleaning and stuff but we're focusing on the living room in this video in the last video i'll link it below if you missed it tackling the kitchen and we tackled that thing we did that daggone thing y'all let's hope we have a similar experience in the living room and the hallway let's go First things first, I'm just getting the house tidy. This is the way that my mind works. In order to deep clean anything, it's got to be tidy first. So I'm just orbiting around the room counterclock or clockwise and tidying up all the things that are out of place. And then once I'm done with that, I start digging into the deep cleaning. And always on my mind. I want to love you like I do on my own. Yeah, this is what it's about. can't talk no more. I gotta talk for her. <laughs> yeah, I'm on, Marina. You can do this. Get up. No, I can't. I gotta stay set down. I'm your inner voice. You are not my inner voice. <laughs> Alright, so we're done. With, we're done tidying it up. Now we're gonna get our hands dirty. I wanna travel. Let's drive into the sunrise. Here in a minute, once I get the rug out of here and outside air and out, I'm going to turn this over and just beat it and let all the stuff go into the floor and sweep it up. Tater, you big y'all You're going to be a mashed tater. Somebody needed us to help jump off our car. I was like, what is that banging?
rearranging while I got everything out of the way. Because I haven't really messed with the couch since we got rid of the sectional. I haven't really messed with the couch any kind of way. So we may do something like that or I might put everything back how it was. I don't know yet. But this living room floor isn't as bad as the dining room was when I rolled up that curtain in the last video. Or rolled up a curtain. Rolled up the rug. It's a bigger rug than the one in the dining room. But surprisingly, which I do maintain my living room floors a little bit better than the kitchen floors. That's totally backwards, but I do. But there's this gnarly hole that the back of the couch put in the wall. <sighs> Y'all know I had to get rid of the other side of the sectional because it broke completely. Back here, there's wood sticking out and it just punctures the wall and it'll scrape through it if the couch is moved at all. There's also wood showing down here now, so. So I think it's safe to say it's only a matter of time until we get a new couch, but I'm trying to prolong it as much as possible because it hasn't been long since we, we bought this one and we paid a, a pretty penny for us, not for other people. It was Big Lots couch, but we, but we did pay a pretty penny for it, so I'm trying to hold on to it as long as possible. As long as it's not dangerous, I don't care if it's an eyesore, if it just gives us something to sit on because that's all we really need. I'm thinking about moving around the living room though because it looks super open and airy like this which is why I don't have a whole lot of stuff in my living room anyway because I don't like for it to look cluttered I like the open and airy look if I didn't have stools there I would definitely put my couch back there and just make this whole area like living space but then you wouldn't be able to see my bar and I really like my bar I don't quite know what to do honestly I think that pushing it back would take away from the bar and the kitchen island right there. I don't know, what do you guys think? I may try it, uh, or I may try to bring it a little bit forward, or I may put it back on that wall. The only things that don't usually ever move in my living room switch ups are these two areas right here, because I really love those areas. And if I love an area, I don't mess with it. I don't move it around, because I really like it there. If I did move one of these, it would be this one. And I would move it over here to probably this wall, but I don't I don't want to do that. I like where it's at. It's been there forever. And it is very rare that I do something at a, in an area in my home that I absolutely love so much that I don't want to change it. So those areas are staying like they are over there. But I'm going to play around with the couch and stuff and see what I can do with it. I do need to get this big old rug out of here though and beat it on the back of the porch because I can only imagine what's going to come out of it. When they tell me you're not yourself Trying to move, but it's hard, I'm out of Whatever they call us, whatever they'll do, they're running in circles, circle our fools. Whatever we will means got nothing to prove. But in the dark, it's starting to. Whatever they call us, whatever they'll do, we're running together. I'm here for you. Whatever we will means we we'll find something new. But in the dark, I'm starting to. So Shane's help. I'm recruiting Shane because y'all told me that I can pull out my mop thing. I was mopping with it in the last video and I was thinking, man, my arms are feeling super weird. And I was feeling like a T Rex, like, you know, like trying to, trying to mop. I don't know how to fix it. Oh. No wonder. Oh my gosh, it's a nice tall as me. Now I ain't got a lot. <laughs> that is so much easier. Y'all teach me something new every day. We have to turn this over and beat the holy car out of it. All right, let's turn this over and beat it. Okay. I need a little bit of money. Story time. Listen, story time. Shane and I used to be so poor that we used to beat the couch on a weekly basis. Just to have money. Check your ashtray in the car. 
Oh, that's how we got the ashtray. No, like we don't smoke, so the we ashtray get, became the, the bank. Yeah, the ashtray became the bank, and then we used to get in the washer, and we dig and find like $4. Quarters. You find quarters? $4 worth of quarters, quarters. Yes. and uh, that gets you to work on Fridays. There was uh, checking pockets yeah, that of brings, uh, clothes that we haven't washed yet. That brings up memories. Uh, Under the cars in, or under the seats in the car. But you know what? God always went away. Well, we always, always always have money, no matter what. Might not have been enough to buy a cheeseburger, but it was enough to get me to work. <laughs> Sometimes we really wanted that cheeseburger. <laughs> Sometimes we really wanted that cheeseburger. <laughs> Y'all, is it driving any of y'all crazy that I did not mop that little spot in the middle of the floor? I'm editing and it drives me nuts when I do stuff like that. I can't stand it. Anytime that I'm editing and I see something in a corner I didn't get or something I didn't quite sweep up all the way, like it drives me bonkers. anything fancy in this carpet cleaner here i just have some method dish soap and some downy beads and a little bit of alcohol just for the stains that may be in the carpet there wasn't a ton it was relatively clean which is surprising it was super white usually white carpets don't last a long time in my house but i've been trying to stay on top of if something spilt on it or something happens on it cleaning it up right away and that's really helped so i just put a little bit of alcohol in there just to make me feel better because alcohol does great on for stains did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along And I thought you knew I could die to keep you near We've got a bar in the tent, it's my third I don't need to go over old 
I'm making it a point to wipe down my baseboards because that's an area that is always neglected in my home. The good thing about it is these baseboards were relatively new, so I didn't really have to do much wiping. There wasn't much dust or scuffs on them. I'm hanging this thankful sign here because honestly, I love this thankful sign. And my nanny liked the shelf that was up there. And the shelf looked a little odd the way that my couch is positioned now that I don't have the other side of the sectional. So I went ahead and gave that to her. And I tried moving these ca this couch and this chair, these pieces of furniture around to where I could kind of do something new with it. But given the space, I don't really have a lot of room to mess with it. So I ended up just putting it back the way that it originally was when the video started because every other way just didn't look right or it took away from my island that we built. And I love that island. I love that it's a focal point in my home. So I didn't want to take away from it. So we just placed everything back the way that it was. It's 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left Get in trouble again That star's got nothing on you That one's brand new Still it's got nothing on you Tonight We've got a fire in the tent It's 5.30 I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial, cause you want our bills right now, but you gotta work real hard, I know you want it to be easy. Well, I do feel like I'm cleaning all the time. I feel like I clean 85% of my life away. I don't clean areas like this very often. I always clean heavily trafficked areas, but I rarely ever, it's very rare for me to pull out furniture and clean behind it. I need to get better about that. But even so, I've been keeping my house so clean lately, not so clean for some people, <laughs> but so clean for me lately, that it wasn't even that bad under these pieces of furniture that I pull out here and get under and behind. It wasn't bad as bad as it usually is. It was actually kind of, I mean, dare I say clean? I don't know. It was clean for me. You had great patience, but something knocked you out. You felt your limitations and filled your mind with doubt. You want to stay chill right now and don't let your eyes. My entire dirty bucket of carpet cleaner water just fell over. Man, I just cleaned these floors. Look, it emptied out. Look at all of that. Ew. Ain't no sense crying over dookie water. It could have been worse. It could have actually had dookie in it. It don't, thank you, Jesus. So I'll get to that in just a second. I'm on a roll in the living room. I'm gonna keep going. That might be backwards. I should probably get to that now, but I'm on a roll and it's hard to get me on a roll. But once I get on a roll, I ain't stopping. The only thing that's gonna stop me is a rapture. <laughs> you got Puritan here. Take me off the planet to get this rolling ball to stopping. I did just get a phone call and somebody needs me to run over some flu medicine for them. So I'm gonna hurry up, finish getting this living room tackled real good. Go do that, and then I'm gonna come back and tackle the hallway. I don't have much to do in the hallway. I just gotta wipe down the baseboards and sweep and mop. Um, honestly, I don't have to sweep and mop because we're about we're taking up those floors in a few days. But I'll just go ahead and do it for just to make my mind sound. Because if I don't, I'm gonna be thinking about that at 2 a.m. I'm gonna be thinking about the floors I'm about to take up that I didn't wash properly. So I'm gonna just finish in here in the living room, and then. Go drop off those flu meds. It's about a 30 minute trip there and back. So I'll probably be doing the hallway at around 1030. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it ain't my thing. Thankfully I don't have to buy none of the crackers cause I got them in my closet apocalypse stash. <laughs> Jesus. 
Should I get this? No, I ain't. I ain't doing it yet. You can just sit there. Yeah, I can just sit there for a second. Oh, it ain't that bad. I was draining behind here. You know what? I I better go take care of it because I don't want to get up under my floor and make it buck. So forgive what I just said. I'm gonna go take care of that mess first, then come back to this. Blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of a romance. I was about to wash down that window, and I forgot I didn't even wash my glass door with some glass cleaner, so I'm gonna do that real quick. But I just don't know. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. Reach out to me. mirror is another neglected area in my home because I dread cleaning it. I have to get my front butt. You can see me there struggling. I have to set my front butt up on the dresser so that I can reach the mirror. So I usually just avoid it completely. It was it looked pretty bad. I need to get on there and razor off some of the leftover paint. You can see there at the bottom of the mirror a little bit there's some paint I need to razor off. I just go through these bottom bins. These bins are just for miscellaneous stuff. I have one for cords. I have one for the dog supplies. Um, they don't use puppy pads anymore because we train them to go outside now, but I still kept, so I got rid of a ton, but I kept a few of them. And then we have some odds and ends, um, for the kiddos there, uh, just a bin for them. So like those three bins are good for storage, but they can get out of hand super quickly if I don't go in and just go through them and get trash out or get stuff that it, maybe somebody's put in there that doesn't belong there. They can get out of hand. This one got out of hand pretty quickly. There's no need to have all those puppy pads now that we don't use them. So I'm only going to put a few back in there and I'm going to put a few in storage just in case you never know when you're going to need a puppy pad. You can use puppy pads for a slew of things. Don't ask me how I know, but I know. <laughs> There was a void in my soul Now I found my true home But I just don't know I just don't know if I'll dance with Y'all, these things collect so much dust It's not even funny Like, I just dusted these I don't know, probably two weeks ago And I'm sure you're supposed to dust more than that Like, more frequently than that But I mean, you wouldn't think that that much, look at that, <laughs> like that much dust would be on these after two weeks. We're just gonna let Shane hang out back and make his home. I think it's about time. So that was like a pizza, uh, Little Caesars box. <laughs> I think it's about time. Open that up, Shane, and take take a look at it. Someone it. Say oh, don't ever let your vent stuff get like mine. That we change it on the regular. Person. It's horrible. That is that is something though. We do change it. I mean, not regularly, but we do change it very often. Um, this is the only kind that Walmart had. We've never used this kind before. It's a 3M. It's a 3, I don't know what that means. That, that's the brand. They were out of these completely. Shane and I are tripping. It's like 11 o'clock at night. But I think we figured out how to break the fourth wall and see wind. Can y'all see it on camera? Let me see. See? Do you, 
Rain what you the? see that? It, it's not raining outside. Yeah. Well, Look, do you see that? that they can see it on camera. Oh my gosh. You yeah, see I'm that? Go out there. Okay, now watch. No, our air ain't on either. It is not raining at all. Can't see over here. Look, it looks normal. But when you. I don't think my mind has ever been blown like it's blown right now. It's moving. It's moving. <laughs> there's no screen there. He went outside and like there's nothing. <laughs> Shane, what the heck? I'm baffled. It's really a bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in close to me? I'm not about, I'm gonna have to rewrap these floors. Look at that, that's how dirty, that's how dirty the mop water is. I do need to get the uh, duster up here as well because as you can see, there's a lot of dust on these pictures down the hallway. Now I'm into deep into this flow. A zero sum. Honestly, if I could do this over, I would probably take this off completely, this grater off completely, and put it in the bathtub and let it soak for a while. But that's just not something that I did at like midnight because that's what time it was. I'll get to it though. So I'm almost done, but I'm gonna turn off these lights here um, for after shots. I also wanna show you my mop water. And before I go to bed, not right now because I have some stuff in the washer, but before I go to bed, I'm gonna put the dog's bed and the dog's blanket that's in their crate in the wash and wash them up real good because I didn't think about doing that earlier, but I am almost done. I see the finish line. I'm gonna show you all this dirty mop water though. It is gross. Wait, let's go show them the dirty carpet water. Oh, yeah, we were gonna show you the dirty carpet water, but we already seen what happened to that. <laughs> That's what's left though. That is what was all over my kitchen floor when it fell and exploded. I'll give you five dollars to drink it. No. What? Five, ten. Fifteen. Believe me, I get as much from this as anyone. No! Oh! <laughs> uh, I ain't that hard up for money. Up to ten. And then when I said fifteen, you were about to buy it. <laughs> Don't ever say I couldn't sell a car. <laughs> Y'all, I I'm ashamed. Ew. Like it is straight up green brown. Ew. I was about to remop these floors, but then I'm like, honestly, in two days, these suckers are getting taken up. <laughs> I don't know if we'll go change up my water and do that tonight. I need to fix the couch for the hundredth time. Seriously, like the fifth time in the last 30 minutes because the dogs keep getting up there and they like do their little nesting thing where they scratch at the blankets and stuff and make a little burrow and burrow in it. They do that every time I fix up the couch. Every stinking time. So I'm going to fix that real quick and bring these bar stools down. Set them on the floor and then I'll show y'all the afters. Big Stager, what you guys think of the house? Oh, the baseboards are washed. <laughs> what you think? Oh, y'all, look at this. What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all? Watch, watch. I'm gonna go over here and act like I'm not paying all attention and watch what they do. Look. Oh. Ignore my tripod over there. But it is clean. We did it, y'all. <laughs> I didn't have to do too much intense cleaning in here because we just refreshed it not too long ago and whenever we move stuff around I try to clean as I go like if, especially if something needs dusting or something I go ahead and dust so it wasn't as gnarly as the kitchen cleaning was that was pretty deep cleaning I didn't have to deep clean it like I did in my kitchen but I still got all the baseboards and everything dusted all the corners for cobwebs all that good stuff another room down also the hallway I made sure to dust all the pictures down through there wipe down the baseboards and sweep and mop it too even though we're gonna change that floor i didn't mop it with kind of dirty water so i mean take it as you will but it was mopped regardless <laughs> thank y'all for hanging out with me i hope you have a blessed morning evening not whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you more i'll see y'all later